What's up guys, Ankle Spangin' here, and today we didn't know we were actually recording, so I kind of just sat there and stared at it for a second. We're playing as Irelia in the mid lane today. Merry Christmas to all you beautiful people around right now, because it's the day, it's the season to be jolly. And I have been having a uh, pretty rough time trying to enjoy preseason at all. Oh, oh, one more, boom. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. But this preseason has been a, uh, it's been something. It has definitely been something, to say the least. Um, so we're just going to play a custom game here, have fun, do some fun builds, uh, see if we can just play champions that we like instead of trying to do anything. While I kind of bide my time and wait for these, oh god, my mouse is messed up. Like I, Ooh, we got the stun and the minion. But my mouse, my mouse was stuck on some. But I'm pretty much just biding my time here, waiting for the AD carry changes to come through because I can't actually play this preseason from the amount of bullshittery that's happening in every single game ever. So it's, it's. I legitimately kind of gave up on it. I'll, I'll just say it. I'll just say it. <laughs> it's. Uh uh. Uh uh. So. We'll just do customs. We'll have fun. And this today is going to be an on-hit Irelia build. It just kind of sounded fun. Nothing nothing too special about it. It just kind of sounded like a fun time to try it. Just a full on-hit Irelia. Because um, I am certainly curious. There we go. There we go. So I tried to hold that uh, charm right there so I can actually get this wave a little lower. Now watch. Watch as I show you the fruits of my labors. Boop, boop, boop. All right, we got the four stacks. Auto Q, Q. Okay, so if he comes into range, if he comes into range. Got him. Boop. Yeah. Oh. What? what? He has heal? What the? I got jamboozled. It's like debated, but bamboozled at the same time. So, I actually really like that word. I just came up with it. Jamboozled. But still a clean kill. We got all those minions low so I can queue to them, get that four stack on my passive, and then go for the kill. Now, I am still trying to figure out exactly how I want to go through with building kind of on hit Irelia. Um... Because I feel like Trinity Force itself is going to be an item that's just way too useful on Irelia in every situation ever to pass up. So I kind of want to go Trinity Force first and then go into on hit. But that's pansy stuff. So we're going to go the wit's end first. Because, you know, I, I don't do that pansy stuff. So we'll just go wit's end first. And then we'll go Ginsu's, Blade of the Rune King, Nashers. Does it have an on hit effect? We're going to build it. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to count a Black Cleaver, because even though technically it has an on-hit effect, I don't really like considering that on-hit effects, because, um, you know, then you can just kind of cheese it. But we'll see how this feels. I'm actually, <laughs> I'm very curious how this is going to feel. It might actually be really worth it to take this, uh, take this, what's it called? Boop! Okay. Fantastic. So anyways, as I was saying, take this, uh, whatever it is, recurve bow. The recurve bow that for some reason somehow makes my swords sharper. Um, and build a Blade of the Rune King first so I can stick onto the Ari a little easier. Because I imagine that's going to be a recurring issue in this game, is not being able to stick onto the Ari. I wonder if I can actually help this out up here. It looks like Renek can definitely got a good trade, but Jack saw the opportunity and turned it right back around on him. Good play, Jax. God damn. See, that's what you gotta do to a Renekton. This Jax, dude, he wrote the book on laying against Renekton. Oh my gosh. Because after, okay, so what he did, if you guys didn't see it, it was pretty simple, right? It looked like he just kind of took his lamppost and bopped him with it. And he kind of did. 
And that's kind of actually the point, because after Renekton blows his load on you, has no fury or abilities, what's he gonna do? He ain't a croc anymore, he's just a salamander. And that means he is dead. I'm almost here with my level 6. We actually do fight this really, really well. Ooh. 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 Ooh, I'm coming. Ooh, I'm coming. Ooh, I'm in it. Ooh, I'm in it. Ooh, baby, I'm in it. Oh, got him. Ooh, whoop. And double stun. Boom, boom. Where am I going? Where am I flip flopping? Oh my god, what a stylish champion. I love Irelia for that reason, dude. So fun. And that is exactly why I wanted to fight that there. Beautifully executed, dude. Beautifully executed. And I think I can get a tower play here. So we'll definitely do that. Definitely, definitely do that. 160 G. Can I get another one? Can I have another start? It's not looking like it. Maybe. Halfway there. But so is she. Gonna dip out of here. So this is actually kind of weird, in all honesty, to... Hey. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and just stun through that. Just W up the stun. Because if they... Or if Renekton kept chasing me there, I was running directly to my cane. And if he stopped, then I can just go back to laning, right? So, not super worried about it. And got that stun. Boop, boop. There it is. This is kind of interesting, actually. To just have so much of my, my damage front loaded, or not front loaded, but spread out into all of my auto attacks instead of just be like burst. Because I'm so used to Irelia just being burst. So, going on hits. Definitely interesting. It's a different play style. Like, it's it's a different damage spread is a lot better of a way to put it. Like, I'm doing... I'm doing consistent damage. But now we have a 43rd form to our dance. Because if you guys heard Irelia quotes, she's, her dance has 42 forms, but you only see one. But, well, now you'll see another one because I'm going to show you. We can actually just keep on utilizing our level advantage here. Well, now we can't because she at level 6. I should still be able to kill her, but it just might... It might have to be one of those all-ins where I take her... Take her ults, and then... Whoop, there we go. Just like that. Get that ult out of her. Oh. Maybe... I actually thought the impact of my ultimate would be enough to kill her there. I was wrong. I think. Eh, I'm not gonna be able to get her. Oh, maybe. Ooh, the flash You dude. I considered doing that exact move myself, but then I deemed it to be not worth, as we can just get some turret plates instead. Good stuff, though. I'm gonna actually... Just tank that tower shot, and I should be able to do pretty happily. Dude, this is actually so nice. No joke. This is really, really nice. I, I'm actually, I'm actually enjoying this a lot. Like going AD on hit ish instead of boy. I shouldn't have W'd. So, the reason I shouldn't have W'd there is, in my head, of course, it's like, Oh, I should W to block some of the damage. But what W'ing actually did there was it made me take tower aggro. And that is bad. <laughs> that is not good. That was very not good. So, my bad. wonder if I should go... I guess I shouldn't stack too much... Attack speed because if I do, then I will go over cap, but not in a good way because I actually still have conquer. I don't have lethal tempo, so going over the attack speed cap won't be fun for any reason. It would just be wasted stats. So we're not gonna go berserker greaves. Um, I'm still just gonna go ninja tabai to help with ad 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 threats, and then wits end for my mr. So 
We'll do that. We shall do that. Oh man, I don't get the first power blood. Oh man. Oh my gosh, though. With just a Blade the Ruin King, just, I can literally just Q minions down. This tower doesn't live. Whoop! Just give it one solid smack on the booty. They have a control ward there. A Fometrius, if you will. And Bard. I have a feeling you won't even Bardly survive this one. Hello! There goes the fork. Let's go ahead and drop that. Yay! No! <laughs> Wait, get him, Nico. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. <sighs> That's a shame, dude. I was really hoping that when I went for that flash Q there, I would have actually still gotten the reset from my ultimate hitting um, the Sivir. So my ultimate, or my, my mark for my Q actually wore off right as I flash Q'd. So after I got the kill off on Sivir, unfortunately I just kind of went and fell and died. I'm actually so close to my wit's end already. Excellent. And then after wit's end, I'm going to go Ginsu's. And I think I think that should actually be really fun. Because if it stacks the way I'm hoping it will, then I can like QQQQQ, have a fully stacked Ginsu's, and then, you know, stun Q, auto, 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 and, you know, really just dunk people. That's how I'm hoping it'll work. So, let's see if my hope goes into practice. Oh, yeah, I should probably... Thank you to whoever pinged this. I totally forgot to, <laughs> totally forgot to clear it. I was gonna go push the next mid wave and then go into their jungle and take the blue, is what my plan was. So, I wonder if I can actually justify, like, if I wanted to make this build a little better without the limitations of being like, oh, I will only build on hit items, because legitimately this build does feel pretty decent, right? Like, it feels pretty decent. So I might seem a little deep here, but I've actually got... Oh, hello. Yeah. They collapse on that really well. I was CC'd forever, man. For. Ever. Damn. So really... <laughs> dude, really good CC from that bar. Golly. That was so good. Like that was that was actually really good. Well played. Well, well played. I just got dicked. Well, let's grab another dagger here. So ankle flanking is now dead, but ankle banking is raking in the money right now. We have two full items if you don't count boots. And the next up is going to be the Ginsu's, which I am really curious how this is going to interact with Irelia. I think it'll be fun. I know Wit's End is actually a very strong power spike for Irelia, and it's actually a very common item for Irelia to build if she's in a game where there's a lot of magic damage, or a, uh, yeah, a lot of magic damage. Because on top of just being really good to have these stats, it gives you a lot of damage and also makes your passive do more damage, because your passive is magic damage. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I don't think you win this right now. I shouldn't have stolen that because that's rude, but like on the other hand, I gotta pad my stats, you know, I gotta look like I'm actually good at the game. Oh my gosh, my Q does so much damage! Heep! Oh, I got her. Oh my wave! <laughs> you butt! <laughs> I wanted that wave. <laughs> oh my, you're so much. mean. <laughs> oh well. Oh no. My Q annihilates normal waves, but going to the jungle, it's like eh, I can't kill a raptor. I can't even kill a little baby raptor. Oh, my. oh my goodness. 
damn. That Nico route after the Kane knockup? Ooh. Have fun. I hope you didn't want to play League of Legends. I hope you wanted to sit there and play Wait in Line Simulator. Wait in the line for death! And it's like, well, they were next up, it seems. Give them an inch. I really want to get this before the game's over, but the score looks kind of skewed at the moment. 29 to 8. But, you know, it really do be like that sometimes. It really do be like that. And even though I don't usually upload stomps, I know, I know, but it's been about a full week since I was able to upload for you guys, which I'm not going to go into the actual detail for all of that, because that's my personal life. Um, but just know that there is reason. It's not because I don't try to be you guys. There. Hello! 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 Woo! I'm coming over here, Bard! Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. The right click extravaganza! This is the perfect Irelia build for an 80 carry main! Look, I understand that there's a. Don't do it! Don't you do it! Okay, he's not doing it. That makes me giga giddy. But yeah, dude, like I was just saying, this is the perfect Irelia build for an AD carry main. Because as with, you know, most AD carry mains, I am incapable of doing anything but right clicking. But let me tell you, holy shit, do I right click well. Oof. Oof. That's a good one. Ah, oh, damn it. It doesn't work the way I was hoping. Oh. So I was checking on that uh, on that Raptor camp to see if my Ginsu's and my Q was work or would work the way I hoped, and it does not. So that's well, that's just a darn shame. So if you guys don't know what I was looking at there, um, my Q does not stack my Ginsu's at all, which is sad me. Let me shed panda. I am the Shad Panda now. Oh, hello, Hecarim. Oh. That's a blue buff with my name on it. And that pony is Kane's Christmas present. Oh, never mind. It's Vygar's Christmas present. Everybody's like, I want a pony. Oh. Oh, you hate to see it. Wait, hang on. From the phone. Pia! No more than that. Right, hold on, I need life steal. There's no minion. Mini, mini, minion. No, oh. oh, my Q didn't get the reset. Aw, oh, heck. Aw, oh, heck. Who are you going for? Huh? Go ahead. Wait, he hit a minion. I'm gonna right click you. I'm clicking you. Don't make me do it to you too, Bard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, who else wants a piece of the right clicking? The right clicking dicking. All right, right clicking. I'm right clicking. GG, well played. Oh my god. All right, so that was actually like a lot of fun. Unironically, like that was the first time I've had actual fun in League of Legends like this entire preseason. And shockingly enough, wow, it was with a champion I actually like to play. <laughs> How much damage did I do, though? 21k with the right click on hit Irelia build. So, that was fun. That was actually really fun. And I think that, if you guys don't mind, I am probably going to just spend a lot of the rest of this preseason until they actually, like, do the AD carry changes. Just doing, like, custom games with you guys. Uh, if you want to get in these custom games, by the way, feel free to join my Discord. I do at everyone, and then just whoever wants to play can come play. And I'll probably just do fun builds for you guys for for a little while. I think that I think that'll be fun. I think that'll be the way to go. Because um, if I'm not having fun with this game, it's hard to make videos that I have fun in. As as I'm sure you can understand. But if you guys did enjoy this video, I have missed you sincerely. So I do apologize that I've been gone and uh, so sporadic. I'm sorry. I really am. Um... But if you did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like and comment. It really does help me out. Uh, I'm also going to say you guys should follow me on Twitch. I have been streaming a lot more 
Um, it's not always league streams, but I have been streaming a lot more. It's been a lot of fun to have you guys there. Um, and I just want to say again, thank you guys for being patient with me. I'm really hoping that going into 2019, I can do a lot better with myself and my channel. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm ready to put forth the effort. I'm finally able to put forth the effort instead of just want to, I'm actually able to, um, I might make a separate video about all this just to like fill you guys in on what's kind of been going on and what my plans are with everything and what I'm going to do, what I want to do, things like that. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that yet, um, but we'll see. Regardless, Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful holiday and I hope you get to spend it with your loved ones in a very happy environment. I hope you get everything you want today and it's... Oh, no. I don't know. I've got nothing else to say. I'm just very sentimental right now, and I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> so, I'll end it here, though. As always, I love you guys, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace!